Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. So I want to start talking about the industry in general. Uh, you and Microsoft Games CEO Phil Spencer have been raising kind of the alarm that the video game industry is just not growing, and there's a real need to figure out how to reverse that. What's causing the issue, and, and how, does, how does Xbox turn it around? Yeah, you know, um, the last year or so in video games, largely the industry has been flat. Um, and even in 2023, we saw just some tremendous releases, um, tremendously groundbreaking games, but still the, the growth didn't follow all of that. Um, Related to some of the trends you're identifying, uh, you know, earlier this week, Xbox announced the shuttering of four game studios. I, I know you're not the studio's chief, but how should we, how should gamers understand that move in terms of Microsoft's commitment to developing innovative exclusive games? Yeah, you know, it's, it's always extraordinarily hard when you have to make decisions like that. Um, you know, I'll go back to what I was saying about the industry. And when we looked at those fundamental trends, we feel a deep responsibility to ensure that the games we make, the devices we build, the services that we offer are there um, through moments, even when the industry isn't growing and when you're through a time of transition. And the news we announced earlier this week is, is an outcome of that. Uh, Talking um, you know, further about growth, I mean, one of the key focus areas for Xbox in terms of growth, and, and this was also one of the key bets in the Activision acquisition, was, was mobile. Mm -hmm. what, what's the Xbox plan for future mobile gaming, and, and when can we finally see it? Yeah, it, um, yeah it's, it, it feels like it's been a long time since we announced the Activision acquisition, which we completed in October. Uh, and the whole thesis about that, a lot of why we did it, was about mobile. And we felt strongly that there has been an opportunity for there to be an experience on mobile that is centered around gamers. Like, we talk a lot about how there's three billion gamers in the world. Um, two of those uh, billion play on mobile, and half of those actually play on mobile and they play on another device. But there isn't actually a gaming platform and store experience that is centered around players and goes truly across device where who you are, your library, your identity, your rewards, um, that, that travels with you versus being locked to a single ecosystem. Um, and we've recognized that opportunity for a long time, but we wanted to make sure that anything we built was really grounded in people who play those mobile native games and the creators of them. And so being joined with a team that has real deep expertise in mobile was important to us. Uh, but we are that now, uh, and so in July, we are going to be launching our mobile store experience. Uh, we're going to start, actually, by bringing our own first-party portfolio to that, so you're going to see games like Candy Crush show up in that experience, games like Minecraft. Um, and then we're going to extend that capability to partners uh, so that they can also take advantage of it and have a true cross-platform gaming-centric mobile experience. Is there any plans to make this playable on PC or is this strictly mobile forever? Uh, are there any? Uh, yeah, this, this, the current plan is to be on mobile, both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones.